Hello everyone, once again this is Aziz and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Flow Player Video so that you can start using your own self-hosted videos in your landing pages. So follow along. First things first, here's a quick landing page for a credit card slash debit card offer. Since it's a financial offer, I might want to include some persuasive elements in this landing page to get the user to act. Something like a video would do great. So what I've done ahead of time was create an easy div class here to place the marker for my video. Now all I need to do is find a way to place a video into my lander here. Now since I'm going to be using Flow Player, I need to actually download this software. What I've done ahead of time is that I've downloaded all of that and I've placed it into a folder called F Player. Now in here I have just uh, all the JavaScript that I'm going to need for my video to play properly within my landing page. So all I would need to do from here is actually just place this folder into the public HTML of my server. Next, I'm going to go to Flow Player's designing area to set up how I'd like my video to appear. So here you can choose what you would like to include in your video. You know, time, volume, to allow the video to go into uh, full screen little icon shows up here but actually for this video I don't want anything so I'm just gonna click all of this off so all we get is just this little uh, progress bar down here next down in playback I'm not gonna start with any splash image and I don't need any keyboard shortcuts so we'll just go to generate player and then we'll give it a bunch of code here now actually we're not gonna need all of this we're just gonna need a few things like our style sheet a couple of these scripts and then this div data that's going to have our video so first let's paste in our style sheet and I'll just minimize this here and put that alongside our landing page and we want to paste this into the uh, head tag of our page so I'll just go to code and I'll paste that right in but as you can see here, this link is actually pointing to an external link. We have this downloaded on our own server, so we want to actually change this to our own server. So we'll change this here to domain, so whatever your domain is. And then remember that folder back there we called fplayer, so that contains all of our CSS files for the video along with our scripts. We're also going to need to update the links of everything else we paste in. So we'll paste in this script and we'll quickly change the link and we'll do the same thing with this script here. And if you remember back here in our folder, actually change the name of this script file to fp.min. So I'm just going to quickly change this around and then we can paste in our last bit of code which is going to be our video. And as you can remember what I actually did before was set up an area where I wanted to paste in that video. So I'm going to put that inside my uh, video tag that I set up previously. So up here we'll delete out video goes here and paste in that code that we just got. Now there's some things that uh, you do want to take a look at. Uh, first of all, we actually only have one video type and that's going to be an MP4. One thing to mention is that with this code, uh, since it's using HTML5, only three video formats are allowed. For this we have an MP4, so this will just need to change to domain.com slash wherever your lander is going to be and we'll go whatever your video is going to be. So for this we have lander video.mp4. Now the last thing that you want to make sure you change with this code is you want to type in autoplay after this video preload none. If you don't put in autoplay your video won't start automatically as soon as your lander is loaded forcing the user to actually click on the video before they see the content. Next, you just upload your landing page to your server, and what you get is something that looks just like this. Just a video it's that fun. auto plays, has I a very heard. minimalistic look to it, to but still allows so the user to pause the video if they click on it. 
it gives the illusion that they don't the have the option of pause. It can still even I'll fast forward or rewind. Like so it's going to be compliant with money. whatever traffic you're running. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. Now, I hope you found this video to be useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below or email me at aziz at ipixel.com. If you like this video or any of our other posts, you can show your support by liking us on Facebook or following us on Twitter. You can also sign up to our emailing list to get the latest marketing tips, strategies, and insights from our team here at iPixel. Thanks once again, and take care.